In the last video I showed you how to add custom meta fields to a taxonomy. In this video we're going to use the image and the color to design a category listing and then we're going to display it in a listing grid. To do that I'm going to go to Jet Engine, Listings, Add New, the listing source will be Terms, Taxonomy will be Brands, we're going to name it Taxonomy Listing, we're going to leave Elementor as the listing view and I'm going to click the Create Listing item. I'm going to go to Settings, which is in the bottom left corner of the screen, then Listing Settings, and I'm going to set the preview width to 300. Now, I'm not going to do a fancy listing design. I'm going to keep it simple. So I'm going to create a new section with one color. I'm going to go to the Widgets tab and grab an image widget and drop it into the column. In the image, I'm going to go to Dynamic Tags, I'm going to scroll down to Jet Engine Term Image. I'm going to click the Term Image again. I'm going to set the taxonomy to Brands. To get a meta field, I'm going to go back to my dashboard. Luxury Cars, Brands, and I'm going to go to the custom meta field that we created for the image and copy the name. We're going to copy. We're going to go back. We're going to close the Finder. We're going to click the Term Image again, and we're going to paste it here. And now we chose. I'm going to go to the Widgets tab and grab a Heading widget and drop it beneath the image. I'm going to go to Title, Dynamic Tags. I'm going to scroll down to Jet Engine's Term Field again. I'm going to set the taxonomy to Brands and the field to Term Name. I'm going to align it to the center. And then I'm going to go to Style, Typography, Transform, Capitalize. I'm going to change the color to white. Then I'm going to go to Advanced, Background, Background Type Classic. I'm going to go to choose a color. I'm going to go to the Dynamic Tags. I'm going to scroll down to Term Field. Taxonomy will be, you guessed it, Brands. And the field will be Meta Field. So what's the Meta Field again? We're going to go to our dashboard and we're going to copy the name which is Category Color. We're going to go back and paste it. And now it shows. All right, so we'll finish with our design. We're going to leave it as is. The next step is to link this listing to the right page. So instead of going to Settings, Listing Settings, and toggle on the Make Listing Item Clickable, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, which is the more reliable way. We're going to link the image at the heading to the right page manually. So to do that, I'm going to select the image. I'm going to go to Link, Custom URL, Dynamic Tags. I'm going to scroll down to Jet Engine's Term Field. Taxonomy will be Brands. And the field will be Term URL. And we're going to do the same for the heading widget. So make sure that your heading widget is selected. You're going to go to the link, Dynamic Tags. Jet Engine, Term Field, Taxonomy, Brands, Field, Term URL. We're going to update. And now I'm going to switch to my home page. Now I want to display the listing that we've just created in a listing grid. To do that, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to create a new section with one column. I'm going to go to the Widgets tab and grab a heading widget and drop it into the column. I'm going to align it to the center and I'm going to name it Browse by Brands. Then I'm going to go to Style. I'm going to change the color to orange. I'm going to go to Typography and I'm going to set Transform to Capitalize and Decoration to Underline. Then I'm going to go back to the Widgets tab and I'm going to search for Jet Engine's Listing Grid. This is the one. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to drop it just beneath our heading. Now I'm going to go to Listing and I'm going to search for the listing name that we've just created. In my case, it's Taxonomy Listing. Then I'm going to set the column number to 5. And if in your case you have the children of the taxonomy appearing here and you don't want to, what you need to do is to go to Terms Query and set the parent value to 0 and they're going to disappear. Next, we're going to scroll down to Slider, and we're going to toggle on Enable Slider. 
I'm going to update and preview. I'm going to scroll down and now as you can see we have a listing grid displaying the car brands which are our taxonomy and every brand you click on takes us to the right car template and uh, this is how you do it so if you learned something new don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm gonna see you next time peace